Disturbing questions are being raised after the release of cockpit voice transcripts from February plane crash outside of Buffalo, which killed 50 people. As you're about to see, the crew appeared unaware of what was happening, even in the final moments. The cockpit transcripts reveal the pilot's conversations minutes before Flight 3407's fatal crash. Captain Marvin Renslow, oh yeah, that's the most ice I've seen on the leading edges in a long time. First Officer Rebecca Shaw adds, I've never seen icing conditions. I've never de-iced. I'd have, like, seen this much ice and thought, oh my God, we're going to crash. The two then went back to what they were doing for most of the 59-minute flight, engaging in personal stories about their life, a violation of FAA rules under 10,000 feet. Rebecca wondered whether the strain of her long commute from Washington State was worth it. I don't even know. I'm so in limbo right now. I don't know where I'll be in a year. Marvin advises her to keep your eyes and ears open for other opportunities and admits that flying is like a second career for me because I was able to take that package with Verizon. But then at 2,300 feet, the plane stalls and Marvin tries to restart by pulling the nose of the plane up. But it's too late. The plane is hurtling toward the ground. Just 20 seconds before impact, Marvin yells out, Jesus Christ, while Rebecca questions if she should put the gears up. A second before impact, Marvin shouts, we're down. And then Rebecca cries out, we're, then she screams. All tough to hear. The crew failed to notice a warning system indicating the plane was losing speed. And experts say the pilot's response of pulling up was actually the opposite of what he should have done.